Okay, this is the demonstration of the rotation tessellation. This time we have to actually be pretty picky about where we start. Where we end isn't quite as big a deal, but where we start is a big deal. We need to start at a corner. I still like to start here on the right-hand side. You can start at any corner, but start directly in the corner. Draw whatever interesting shape you like it to have. You can end in the corner. You can end somewhere on the edge. As long as you're starting in a corner, you're going to be fine going to make that cut just like we have on the other ones. And just like the others, it's okay if your cut line doesn't line up perfectly with the line that you drew. When you make that cut, make sure it goes right to the corner. It makes it look so much easier if it does. So since this is our rotation tessellation, it makes sense that we're going to get there by spinning or by rotating. The center of rotation is going to be right at the corner where we started our cut. So I'm going to just try my best to place my finger there and pivot it around. We're going to go all the way around. It ends up being 270 degrees. Keep spinning. Eventually, it's going to end up like that. Okay, so that's a rotation. How did I get there? Think about what we did with the others. The others, I cut it and then slid it. Uh, the reflection, I cut it, slid it, and then flipped it. Now I cut it and then I spun it around. It's a rotation. So get that taped into place. No gaps and no overlaps when you tape that. I've got some flaps here that are not yet secured, so I'm going to tape those and then trim off any extra tape. Now that that's taped into place and I've trimmed, I'm going to go again, here's another corner. I'm going to go from this corner, and again we have to be precise, make sure it's at a corner so that we can pivot and have that center of rotation. And again, you can do anything that you want, make it interesting. We're not going to end in the corner, you can just end, end somewhere, anywhere here on the edge. I'm going to make that cut. Trying to be really careful about ending right there in that corner so that I have a good center of rotation. And before I actually tape it into place and make that move, I'm just going to pause here, make sure everybody is ready to go. We'll make that same move all together. All right, so here it is. We cut it off. In order to get it where it needs to go, here's my point. I'm going to spin it and rotate it into place. So that, that straight edge that I cut off lines up with the other straight edge. Tape that into place. Good. Yours probably will line up. I cut mine a little bit weird. Yours might line up better than mine. It could also mean I made a mistake and you didn't. We'll find out when we trace it out. I've got some extra tape, so I'm going to be folding that or trimming it off. Now let's get it traced and let's see if we actually did create a tessellation. Uh, let's label it first so that we don't get it mixed up with any of the others. Again, our name, period, and this is a rotation, so I'm going to label it rotation. Hopefully you still have your little masking tape 
to hold it into place so that we can trace it. Let's see if we can make this work. Go ahead and trace it into place. So remember, we built this using rotations, which means as I'm trying to fit these pieces together again, I have to be using rotations to get it into place. I'm going to be spinning it. Um, some things that I want to look for. Here's the big spike that I cut out of this piece. So as I pick it up to rotate it into place, I'm going to try and rotate it so that that spike fits right in there. So far, so good going to get it in place and it's not mine is falling off of the edge of the page but I'm going to trace what parts I can you guys do the same whatever whatever piece is identifiable that you cut out try and spin that into place to fill in the gaps And again, into place, and I remember that this weird piece is what I cut out of here. So when I am trying to put it over here, I'm going to try and spin it that way to get it into place. And it looks like it does spin into place. Happy to see that this is working. Now I can trace around the edges the rest of the way. I'm going to trace it one more time just because this rotation one is an interesting one because now I've got this weird straight piece and I'm not sure exactly what parts need to line up there so I might have to spin it around oh looks like I found a piece that's going to go there and now if I spin it's going to go there so it looks like I found kind of a center where all of them can rotate around and that makes it really nice and easy so I'm going to trace this a few more times into place And again, now I can easily see my center of rotations for each of these and trace it again. So that's it for that rotation tessellation.